the biggest breakdown that I'm seeing with you is your front side. Okay, so your your front side, basically your torso, your trunk rotation. Okay, so you want ideally you want to keep your trunk neutral until that front foot boom anchors to the ground. So that gives you separation, right? That creates segmentation. So you can see as your front foot takes on load that now your your shoulder and your hip are moving together. Now what this does, dude, is, is this kind of influence a, a couple different bad patterns where one you're you're kind of pushing your arm right so like if your trunk starts to rotate early before your front foot anchors down you don't create a lot of rotational energy you don't create a lot of stretch so then as as a, at the point of which you anchor down your trunk's already rotated then your your arm just kind of completes rotation and it just kind of pushes into rotation rather than ideally we can pull our arm into rotation from having segmented the two rotations okay i'm saying rotation a lot but uh, it also gives you this kind of pattern of uh, you know early launch where your chest is behind your lead knee at ball release, whereas you know ideally we would want to get a ton of extension, a ton of shoulder extension, and you can see uh, I'm also seeing you know a little lead leg block breakdown in terms of the knee extension like velocity. Um, you know, you, I, I, the, for me, the lead leg block is kind of a positioning and alignment thing. If you don't position your pelvis accordingly, uh, as soon as you anchor down, then you're going to kind of just fight an uphill battle, uh, in terms of optimizing the lead leg block. So, uh, another thing here towards the end, as soon as you come into ball release, I'm seeing a limited amount of like layback shoulder, like external rotation of your throwing arm. This is a lot of potential, you know, power output. And uh, you're limited here to the amount of layback and shoulder directional rotation you're getting because of the limited amount of stretch that you create, right? So like I said, with the pushy arm action, if you push your arm into release because your trunk's early and you kind of just finish rotation of the trunk with the rotation of the hips, then you're going to have a limited amount of rotational energy behind your throwing arm. So then you're going to have to independently kind of just generate this this energy elsewhere with your throwing arm um and you're going to be limited to your power output right so it's all kind of stemming from one big mechanical component and it's affecting a lot of other things also the trail leg uh is shooting you know into knee flexion here so trail leg hip flexion whereas in a perfect world we would want knee you know uh, or sorry hip extension at ball release we don't want anything kind of going forward like this um so now towards like, okay, well, why is this happening? So I see a commonality uh, of this kind of breakdown on two separate occasions. Okay. So one and the most common with 18, you guys is an instability breakdown. So you have, uh, like lacking, I would say the trunk and glove side stability. Cause it's, it takes a lot of stability to be able to neutral, uh, keep a neutral trunk posture as you kind of descend into your dry phase and, and you know go into your throw okay so Robbie Ray your AL 2021 Cy Young winner let's just go ahead and show you some of these these things that I'm referring to and you're going to see more context in the report so leg lift um, you know this is not necessarily like your player comp by any means but it's a similar angle of, of uh, the video and he does this extremely well obviously he produces you know a mid 90s fastball so descending from leg lift boom he, he's going to load his drive leg okay so load his drive leg his lead leg is kind of just a byproduct of his drive leg and then you're going to see that same thing that i was referring to with you in terms of the timing of when the hips initiate rotation so you're going to see the back knee kind of fold down and then you're going to see the the front foot approach front foot strike and like full anchor point now notice how the hand his throwing arm is flipping up at the time that his front leg is coming down so this gives your your body this sequencing effect and this timing effect of when to start really initiating rotation so his trunk is not going to initiate rotation if his hand flips up at the time of which his front foot anchors down all right a lot of times guys that have an early trunk they'll flip up their hand early so then they just kind of think it's ready to go so it's kind of like a two-part thing i would say in terms of the arm action like timing of when arm swing occurs and uh, that's going to influence the trunk to then start to rotate so you see robbie ray here at full anchor point i know the video is kind of more three-quarter angle so you can't see where his trunk is positioned but you see his rear hip by the way his foot is on the rubber 
into rotation, hand just flipped up. So his trunk is essentially neutral. He's creating this segmentation, right? So you can see his elbow is still in a deep state of retraction. And now as he um, anchors down, his hips complete rotation that pulls his trunk through, the trunk rotation then pulls his arm through and you create this, this leverage of the arm, right? So you pull your arm through, the amount of layback is good. And then that pulls his trunk through. And now you can see here, this is like the, the, the money maker, all right? Like the move or, or the picture here at the end of his throw are just, is more so just a byproduct of all the efficient movements leading up to that point. So you have late launch, shoulder extension, front side still intact, trail leg, his hip is an extension. You see the lead leg, knee extension, that knee angle, uh, knee flexion, sorry, knee flexion upon landing, knee extension velocity as the pelvis rotates over the femur. So all these things are just byproducts, I would say, of that one major piece for you, and that's that segmentation piece, dude. So, all right, dudes, Robbie Rowe here. Thank you for watching that video. If you're interested in booking your own mechanical analysis, you can click that link right there. Also tell you a little bit about the service and what it entails. Hit that link right there, subscribe, please. You can also check out that video right there, which is related to the video that you just watched if you wanna get some more context on that. All right, guys, much love, God bless. Till next time. See ya. Strike three, you're out!